Hi, it's Mary Jo. I just want to come and encourage you through scripture. Tonight I want to talk about prayer life. Your prayer life is very important. It's your one-on-one -on -one communication. And please, please know it's not about big lengthy, lengthy prayers. And um, I love to talk to God. I talk to him all day long. But when I'm asked to pray in public, I'm, I'm sort of, um, I'll do it. But um, my flesh will start to worry what other people think because I don't use big words and I just talk to him like he is my closest, he's my savior, my, my God, and I just talk to him as my best friend and um, my savior. And um, you have to know that he's right there. The, the more you are yourself and the way you talk as if you're talking to your best friend sitting on your couch, the more that he just loves that because you're true, you're, you're being yourself, who he created. So you know that will make him happy. And we're all made different. There are some out there that will use big words that's just because that's how they talk in their no normal life. But I want you to read um, 1 Peter 4, verse 7. The end of all things is near. Therefore be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray. Some of us will put off prayer till we go to bed at night. We'll kneel by our bed and we done done everything else in the blue moon that day and we're just wore out, tired. And then we think we're gonna that's gonna be our prayer life with God. Be self controlled that you will discipline yourself to give a time set apart for prayer with God and yes you you pray and talk with God all day and that's fine but that's like having a best friend and all you do is just text periodically throughout the day just little text yeah that's nice but imagine just doing that all the time your best friend would not feel so close to you they will want you to set aside a separate chunk of your time just to sit with them and talk one on one. Doesn't even have to be nothing major, just to show them that they are important enough, enough for you to take time out of your schedule for them. If somebody does that for you, don't you feel special? So I encourage you to take a chunk of your time, devote it to God. Go in a room, close the door, and just have one-on-one -on -one communication with God, a.k.a. prayer. And you'll find peace when you're, when you're finished, and you just feel good, and you'll want to do it more and more. And that's how the Holy Spirit works, is um, He sees that you are trying, and, and through your faith that you believe, and you just have an overabundance flow of peace come into your life and no matter what the world throws your way you still have that peace that he gives us not like the world gives us but his peace and god bless and take time out of your schedule for god